My name is Delina D. Spann. I'm a fraud analysis expert for a federal law enforcement agency here in Chicago, and I am the author of Fraud Analytics, Strategies and Methods for Detection and Prevention, which was published in October of 2013 by John Wiley and Sons. And it's a go-to book because a lot of people that are doing analytics now, they have no clue as to what products are out on the market. So this is a book that you can pick up, you look in it, see all the different products that are out on the market for fraud detection and monitoring. And it also has some brief case studies as well. Money laundering, mortgage fraud, whether it's credit card fraud, auditing or what have you. I have some uh, small case studies that will actually explain what some of these tools can do for you. Analytics is, I would probably say, 200% important. Um, that's what the gist of my job entails. That's what I do on a daily basis because until you find out what you're looking for in the data that you have, there's no way for you to determine that. Um, the Excel spreadsheet was what we used back in the day, but now with all of the different fraud analytical tools that are out on the market, um, we have a different version of getting things done that could take like within a week. Now we have software tools that could take at least 10, 15 minutes if you need it in that ample time. In the mortgage fraud case, I was able to use analytics to find out exactly, you know, what was the loss or what was the potential loss compared to the actual loss in the mortgage fraud investigation. Um, which saved us a big amount of time because with mortgage fraud cases, it's a lot of paper, um, it's very time consuming, it's very tedious. So using analysis though, like I said, it cut down a lot of time for us. Um, and once you get a group of analysts or people who are familiar with analysis, it always makes the task much easier because we're serving one common goal. And that one common goal is to find the red flag. And with analysis, you can do that. I started using IDEA several years ago because I was teaching advanced fraud analytics at Utica College. And one of the requirements of the course was to use the IDEA software. And I gave the students a case study and based on the case study, they had to find all of the information using the IDEA software, and that's how I started using it. And I've been using it ever since. Um, I'm hoping in the future to be a super IDEA user. Well, bringing it into, into the classroom, and, and what I would say to students now, is that they need to start using it early on. Find out what analytics is about. Analytics is the tool to the future. And as I had stated previously, analytics has always been around, but I think with hearing more about big data, the data mining tools, you know, it's like, it's the N word now, it's a trend now, but it's a trend that will never get old. It's just gonna continue to grow by leaps and bounds. And students, whether they're business students, accounting, finance, criminal justice students, computer specialist students, I think they all should have an introductory class to analytics. Of course I would recommend IDEA. IDEA is mentioned in my book. It is chapter six, um, and there's about 20 pages of just information on IDEA. Uh, there are graphics in there to show you what the product can do, and I would recommend it to any and everyone, particularly on the academic level. Like I said, to get students interested into it now, because when they come into the working force, they're gonna have to know how to use these tools. So the first tool that I would recommend is IDEA.